Google Workspace is amazing because it powers your email address and your custom domain. But what if you want an email alias? So just what is an email alias? Well, let's say I have the term Hayden at a designer who codes.com. I also might want info at a designer who codes.com or sales at a designer who codes.com. Now, because those are aliases, I don't have to pay for them. Essentially, the main account, Hayden at a designer who codes.com, is the one I'm paying for, and the aliases just feed information into that email address. I'm going to go through Google Workspace and explain how to set this up. So there's two email aliases that we can do. Let's start with the basic one. I'm going to head into my directory and find my email address in my users. I'm going to click on my account. And in my account, what I want to do is I want to then go to add alternate emails. This will allow us to add our email alias or an alternate email that I can use to send myself an email. In the alternate email, what I'm going to do is then scroll down. I've got a few email addresses I already have built in. And what I want to do is you probably don't have anything else in this section. Yours is probably empty. But what I'm going to do is come down and say alternate email. And in here, what I want to do is I want to say something like info and then select my domain. Now for you, you probably have only one domain. We're going to go to the second part in a few minutes but I can say alternate email info at Nautilus Designs. That's my design company because I have Hayden at Nautilus Designs. And then I have info at Nautilus Designs. So with that, I can then save this information by scrolling down the page and saying save. And when I save, that info becomes an email alias. Now what I can also do is have different domain names also be email aliases. So if you have, for example, your normal one like I had before Hayden at Nautilus Designs or Hayden at a designer who codes, I could also have another email address that has a different domain name. If that's the case, what I wanna do is I'm gonna head over to the account section and head down to domains. It's probably gonna be closed, so I'm gonna open up the domains and say info. In the domains area, I have to manage a domain. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna add a domain to this to have an extra email alias. And what I want to do is I'm going to add a domain. Now in here, I can use an alias domain. So I can say Hayden's primary email is Hayden at Nautilus Designs, but I can also by default have it set up to be Hayden at otherdomain.com. Now, if you want a secondary domain to have like it shows here, my primary is Hayden at Nautilus Designs. And then I have Joe, for example, at otherdomain.com. I can set this up right here as a secondary domain. Now for this one to keep it really simple, I'm just gonna say user alias domain. So in here, what I'm gonna do is then click on user alias domain. And I do have another email or another domain name I do have bought. So I have wheelandbind.com. Never used it, just kind of hanging around. So might as well just add to it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add the domain and start verification. Now what you have to do is you do, oh, <laughs> I had it before. So in theory, what this is gonna do for some, I took it out and then for this video, I tried to put it back in. It hasn't exited out of the arena yet, so ignore this. But what's gonna happen is you're gonna be asked to verify your domain name with a text message. And in this case, so if I say wheel and vine with an extra E to make it a different domain name, let's just do it this way. And because I haven't bought this one, it's gonna be like verify and own wheel and viney or viney.com. So what I would do is I would get started with this process. And of course I don't own the domain name, so it's not gonna know where to pull it from. But what I can do is that I can say different host. And what I have to do is I have to simply set a text record, or if you can't access the text record, you can also access the CNAME records and put that in there as well. So what it is, it's verifying that domain can work with Google. Since I don't have access to this, I'm not gonna worry about it, come back and check. Confirm is not going to work because I don't have the domain name. So if anyone has Wheel and Viney, uh, congratulations, you might get a code, but this is not going to work. But this is the two ways you can set email address aliases in Google Workspace.